government and the generals from the new military governing council will assume the roles of the defense and interior ministries. Meanwhile, West African heads of state are gathering in Nigeria. Now, this summit is crucial as it will decide the bloc, ECOWAS, and their next move of action. Coup leaders have refused to stand down despite pressure from ECOWAS and other international institutions. The defiance is despite ECOWAS's threat to use force to restore democracy. The meeting in Abuja could prove to be a pivotal moment in the standoff. While the focus so far has been on means like imposition of sanctions, however, a military intervention is not yet off the table. Earlier, Nigerian President's envoy met with the coup leaders in Niger's capital of Niamey. Similar visits by leaders from ECOWAS, African Union and the US state have remained fruitless. On the other hand, military governments in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso have vowed to defend Niger's coup leaders. All this while Niger's economy suffers the brunt of the power play.